Alright, I'm afraid I must admit that I've cut ahead slightly here. You see, I recorded some footage and got into a situation where it was basically unwinnable on my other save and I'd already saved over the one where we're at Pluto. Here, we're, we've just entered this system and have found virtually nothing in the way of minerals or anything useful. I was going to head south to meet a certain alien race, but we got trapped by Ilrath and we had no ships that can adequately fight off their Avengers. Yeah, I know I said that their cloak gives them away, well, it does, but you need a ship with adequate weapon systems to actually fire them. Anyway, we're going to head to Sirius. I'm going to stay in the vicinity of Sol, for now I think, just to be safe. Oh god. That's not what I think it is. Oh, it is, I think. And it's coming to say hello. Yep, yeah, okay, just... <sighs> if you ever played this game, you understand why I'm sighing. We come in peace. No, you don't. Goodbye. Sending alien contact subroutine. Priority override. New behavior dictated. Must break target into component materials. Yeah. These guys fly in really fast and do quite a bit of damage. And the Vindicator is the only ship that can consistently perform well against them. But, as you can see, that cost us a lot. Fantastic. As you can see from the Vindicator at the moment, it's not a combat ship. It's basically got, you know, one pathetic gun, as well as, you know, the, the maneuverability of a, a small radiator. I don't know. It's not very maneuverable. This planet will be way too hot, I think, but it's, you know, worth scanning, anyway. Uh, yeah, way too hot, and lots of tectonics and weather. No thank you. Let's check our cargo. We got five exotics, that's it. I think it's worth mining soul, as I said I would. Because it would be sensible to actually get a ship that's capable of standing up to a mild breeze before we head off anywhere too dangerous. I've got an idea of where we should go next, but I'm not quite sure when we should do it, how much pre-preparation there should be. Anyway, there can't be much harm in going to Uranus and Neptune. So let's do that. Ah, oh, there's nothing in orbit around either, I don't think, yeah. Silly me, we got my secondary school astronomy. Or cosmology, I think, more accurately. Anyway, let's go to Saturn. See if we can land on Titan. Alright. Here there's Titan. I think it's got quite a few weather problems, but no extreme heat, so that's good. Let's scan. Yeah, it's got weather and tectonics. Okay. Where's the... Ah, lander. Go! Sorry about sounding a bit annoyed, but I am because quite a bit of work went to waste because I navigated myself into a unwinnable position. And the annoying thing about it, the especially annoying thing, is the fact that the game didn't help in any way. By which I mean, I was getting well, how can I put this? Whenever a ship sees you out in hyperspace, friendly or enemy will rush towards you to say hello. But when it does that, it puts you into a spinning animation, which reorientates your ship and makes it a mobile. So I was getting rushed by about four different allied ships all rushing to say hello, and then the enemy ships would be upon me before I could run away. So it wasn't the nicest of situations. Okay, yep, just some base metals. The, uh, 
level 3 in value. Worth more than you'd think they'd be. And this one. What we got up here? navigate away. Go back to the Earth star base, so it should be just enough to buy some enough crew and fuel to see us through. I'm thinking about getting Whiffo into uh, into a uh, uh, into combat shape, because the Spaffy Eluder is probably the ship with which I'm most proficient. So let's oh well, let's offload our materials. Hello, Captain. Okay. Let's offload. Light load this time, Captain. Yeah, indeed. Return soon, Captain. Now to wait. We want to go to the shipyard. Right. Let's crew out the buffos on Luda. Goes all the way up to 30. Assuming cruiser could also be useful. And no harm in beeping up the Vindicator. Right. Let's outfit Starship. Buy as much fuel as we can afford, which is not much. Okay, hopefully this time I won't make a hack job of, you know, exploration. Should have really crewed out our vessels before I left Seoul, but, you know, that's me. Incompetent to a hilt. But, hopefully, <laughs> this time we won't get ganked by some Ilrath. Anyway. Navigate. Okay, where should we go? Well, let's go to Sirius first. Well, we've been to Sirius. God. My memory is brilliant, isn't it? Hmm. I would, I'd like to go to the Pepicule, but it's a bit long range at the moment. We can go to Raynet, we can go to Baylor, where we came from. I think a wolf might be a good idea, because yellow stars, I think, hold minerals. Ah. Yeah, or just one planet. There won't be enough even to recoup our fuel costs. Ah, uh -huh. God. Oh. There we go. Right, so what kind of world is this? Cyanic. Hmm. No, not worth it. Oh, goodbye. How many units of fuel do we use about? Five? Hmm. So, nothing there. Now, let's check our star map. Where would be a good place to go to collect some? Fuel or whatever. Maybe Rigel. I'm just checking what's down here. Ptolemy. Hmm. Yeah, I think after Rigel we'll go to Ptolemy. Hmm. 